Voyager 1, a decades-old probe quietly drifting through interstellar space, was never designed to last this long or travel this far. Despite being powered by technology older than an average toaster, it continues to send faint signals from the darkness. Now, 45 years after its launch, it has returned data that no one anticipated, a discovery so strange and seemingly impossible that scientists are being forced to rethink everything they believed about the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy beyond. The question arises, what exactly did Voyager 1 encounter at the edge of the solar system, and why are some researchers likening it to finding a ghost in the machine? When Voyager 1 launched from Cape Canaveral in 1977, its mission was modest. It was intended to last just five years, focusing on studying the outer planets Jupiter and Saturn, along with their moons. However, even during its earliest encounters, Voyager was changing what we knew. It revealed volcanic activity on Io, the icy surface of Europa, and Jupiter's previously hidden rings. Unexpected discoveries that highlighted how little we understood about the outer reaches of our solar system. What started as a mission measured in months stretched into decades, as Voyager used gravity assists, clever slingshot maneuvers around planets, to gain the speed necessary to break free from the sun's gravitational pull. After passing Saturn's enigmatic moon Titan, the probe shifted course northward, leaving the plane of the planets and heading into deep space. In 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to cross into interstellar space by passing the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's solar wind ends and the wider galaxy begins. But as it journeyed further, the data it sent back became stranger. Scientists had expected a clear shift in the magnetic field when Voyager crossed this boundary, moving from the sun's influence to the galaxies. Instead, the magnetic field remained almost unchanged, although the plasma density around the probe surged, confirming its entry into interstellar space. The magnetic field's direction defied long-standing theoretical models. This unexpected result hinted that the heliopause isn't a solid wall, but rather a complex, turbulent transition, zone with unusual properties. When Voyager 2 crossed into interstellar space in 2018, it recorded the same mysterious behavior confirming that this boundary is more like a fluctuating breathing membrane shaped by unseen forces that we don't yet fully understand. Some scientists now believe our solar system is moving through a part of the galaxy shaped by ancient supernova explosions, areas where matter has been ionized and molded, like frozen ripples in space-time. Voyager 1 is the first probe to directly encounter these ripples, offering an unprecedented glimpse into this cosmic landscape. And then, things became even stranger. Voyager 1, more than 14 billion miles from Earth, recently began sending back unusual signals, data unlike anything it had transmitted before. Initially, engineers suspected a malfunction in its aging instruments, but deeper analysis showed something far more baffling. The probe's instruments detected subtle rhythmic oscillations almost like a heartbeat, not coming from Voyager itself but from the surrounding space. It had entered a region where plasma waves echoed in structured repeated bursts, patterns that were not random disturbances, but showed rhythm, consistency, and perhaps even some form of intelligence. While no one is suggesting alien contact, the mystery remains. What natural phenomenon could produce such precise repeated energy pulses in interstellar space? These signals don't match any known behavior from stars, pulsars, or galactic currents. Voyager may have stumbled upon an energetic corridor or boundary in the galactic medium that operates beyond the limits of current physics. What makes this discovery even more remarkable is the probe's own nature. Voyager 1 was built with less computing power than a modern digital watch. Its memory is stored on 8-track tapes, similar to those found in 1970s car stereos, and it runs on nuclear decay rather than solar panels. Despite all this, it has survived intense radiation, extreme cold and complete darkness for over four decades, and continues to send data back to Earth. Onboard Voyager is the famous Golden Record, a time capsule containing sounds and images from Earth created by Carl Sagan and others as a message to any potential finders. It includes bird songs, a mother's kiss, Beethoven's music, 
greetings in 55 languages, and a map of our planet. That small disk now lies farther from Earth than any other human artifact, still traveling, still waiting. Voyager 1 has become more than a machine. It's a reflection of humanity itself. As it moves through a region of space where physics seems to bend and the rules blur, it might be sending us a message not just about the universe, but about ourselves. Scientists analyzing Voyager's latest data have noticed that the disturbances it records aren't just random noise. Plasma waves rise and fall symmetrically, magnetic fields shift rhythmically, and radiation spikes occur at predictable intervals. This suggests Voyager may have entered a region of space that isn't empty, but rather organized, shaped into a plasma lattice, a sort of invisible cosmic framework. This structure could hold vital clues about how energy, gravity, or even information is distributed across the galaxy. Although the concept isn't new, cosmologists have long speculated about vast unseen energy networks threading through the universe. Voyager might be the first to fly through one and feel its presence directly. The origin of this lattice is still a mystery. It could be a relic from a long-past supernova or part of a persistent galactic system never before measured. If confirmed, Voyager would have provided the first direct evidence that space itself may have an underlying architecture we have yet to understand. Voyager 1 now drifts solely on the momentum it gained in 1977, with no propulsion or course corrections. Its unique path has brought it through many cosmic phenomena, leading some theorists to wonder, what are the chances that, out of all possible trajectories, it ended up in such a remarkable place at such a remarkable time? Some suggest it has traveled through the most information-rich corridor in the galaxy, shaped by the solar system's movement itself, a kind of spatial current or lane of probability. While this could be coincidence, the alignment of discoveries, from the heliopause anomaly to plasma wave patterns and rhythmic signals, feels almost intentional. This has inspired a few researchers to propose a bold idea. Could space itself have a formational flow? Might gravity, plasma, and magnetism shape not only matter, but also pathways through space? Could Voyager have become part of a galactic feedback loop, where the universe observes itself through our machine? There is something surreal about Voyager 1's ongoing journey. The older it becomes, the more profound its discoveries. Its instruments are outdated, its power reserves diminishing yet it continues to reveal truths beyond the reach of modern telescopes. This challenges scientists to reconsider not only the cosmos, but also how we engage with it. Instead of seeing, the universe is something to conquer and control. Voyager reminds us of a deeper approach, the importance of observation without interference, of drifting and listening rather than measuring and manipulating. In its silence, the probe teaches humility. In its endurance, patience, and in its astonishing discoveries, wonder. Voyager 1 is no longer just a probe. It is a symbol of cosmic awareness and a testament to humanity's ability, not only to gaze at the stars but to learn from them, even when the lessons come in frequencies barely understood. Voyager 1's tiny plutonium power source is fading, and within a few years its instruments will go silent one by one. Eventually it will become a dark, drifting object, invisible and unreachable. But before that happens, it continues to send back invaluable data, possibly the last great discovery. Of its long mission, it detects energy and motion where there should be stillness, receives patterns where randomness was expected, and behaves not like a forgotten relic but as a final witness, recording the pulse of a universe just beginning to reveal its true nature. When Voyager finally falls silent, it will leave behind more than scientific knowledge. It will leave a philosophical legacy. It is the memory of a small machine that crossed the boundary between the known and the unknown, and for a moment, listened. Voyager started as a machine but became something more. A question forged in metal, floating silently and asking the universe if anyone was listening. For 45 years it has drifted beyond planets, beyond the sun's reach into a realm no human eye has ever seen. Now, near the twilight of its journey, it has encountered something extraordinary. Not aliens or divine beings, but perhaps the very 
breath of the cosmos itself, a pulse, a rhythm, a whisper from the edge of reality. As its signals grow fainter and its systems slowly shut down, one truth remains clear. Voyager is no longer just exploring space. It has become part of space. This realization makes the discovery haunting, not because the universe is stranger than imagined, but because it has waited this long to start speaking back. What do you think Voyager 1 has truly found out there? A natural force, a hidden law, or the beginning of something far greater?